Mission Thrive has been developed to treat veterans with PTSD and pain. We know that about 66 to 80% of veterans who have PTSD also experience chronic pain. That's about four to six million veterans who are being affected every day. Within the last seven or eight years of my Army military service, things just really caught up with me. And, uh, and so I've experienced, unfortunately, a, a lot of pain uh, as a result of that to include some trauma. It makes sense to try to treat both the PTSD and the pain at the same time. We know that they share similar brain regions so that the front of the brain is uh, where we do a lot of our thinking. That part is more deactivated and the rear of the brain where we have our emotional responses is more highly activated and that means that we can have exaggerated responses to both PTSD and pain. Similarly we know that behaviors overlap between the two. For example, uh, social isolation. People with chronic pain often withdraw and they pull back from other people we know that people with post-traumatic stress disorder are characterized in part by avoidance and isolation. They also pull back from people and activities. Mission Thrive has been developed as a three-phase process over 22 sessions. Uh, the first phase is involved with helping people to manage their symptoms of PTSD and pain. In the second phase, we help them to work on the issues of their self-identity and their uh, relationships with other people. And in the final phase, we work on recovery and rejoining the social community. Mission Thrive integrates elements of cognitive behavioral therapy, mindfulness meditation, and gentle yoga. With yoga and a little bit of biking, um, it, it helped improve my clarity. And, and really yoga, helped because it allowed me to stretch and it, and, and it relieved not only the stress, the trauma, but it allowed me to do, do things without the medicine. Mission Thrive offers multiple kinds of value. It'll help decrease PTSD and pain in veterans. It will allow them to be treated simultaneously in multiple treatment settings in a group format and reduce the total amount of time that they're spending in treatment. It will also help improve their quality of life and daily functioning and help isolated veterans reintegrate into social settings. I want every veteran to know that whether it's yoga therapy, whether it's bicycling therapy, whether it's something else that um, I, I want to encourage every veteran to go out and seek help.